Hey guys, today we have a brand new toy review. Today we have the Jazzwares slash Wicked Cool Toys Halo, the Spartan Collection Cat from Halo Reach. All right, so we're doing another Jazzwares Halo figure. I keep saying Jazzwares. It's part of their um, sub-company Wicked Cool Toys that makes these, and I think Wicked Cool Toys was uh, recently, like, um, dissolved into just being a Jazzwares production team. Um, I don't really know the details on that, so I'm just going based off of what I can assume. But hey, we've got more Halo. I took a look at Master Chief and the Spartan Mark VII from Halo Infinite, but Jazzwares threw in a quote-unquote retro Halo character, if you want to call Reach a retro game. It's like 10 years old at this point. And they went with Cat. Uh, originally, I was just going to wait and get Cat on like sale, and then I saw a Series 2 get leaked, and it featured Emil from Noble Team, and I was like, well, they're probably going to make all of Noble Team over the years. So I went ahead and got Cat. This was $20 at Target. Um, they had like two left, so be careful if you're going to go out. As always, the pandemic is getting worse and worse every day. So mask up, uh, take some hand sanitizer, uh, stay away from people. Just, just be careful, please. Uh, Packaging-wise, it's got the Halo logo, Spartan Collection, Cat in a Big Window, showing off all the accessories. And then on the back, it just has a picture of Cat with her helmet off and the accessories she comes with, as well as the other figures in the series. And then on the side, it's got Cat up top with the UNSC logo, kind of an empty side. So yeah, uh, we've looked at some other Halo figures, so we'll compare and contrast. Let's take a look. All right, here we have Cat. Please. Okay. <laughs> That was close. Uh, she she tends to fall over a little bit. Um, so, Cat from Halo Reach, the third Halo figure I've looked at. So let's do a quick size comparison for some other figures. Here's a Marvel Legends Spidey, SH Figure Arts Goku, one of McFarlane's Batman dudes, and one of the other Spartans. All right, Cat from Halo Reach, our first Halo Reach character. Um, I don't know who else we're getting. Uh, at some point, we're supposed to be getting a meal. And I really wish we'd get Noble Six. So, detail-wise, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's Cat from Halo Reach. If anything, I kind of wish she had a bit more in terms of weathering. But that's something I've said about all of the Halo figures, is I think they need to look a bit more roughed up. But, I mean, yeah, it, it looks like Cat from Halo Reach. Um, detail-wise, she's got, like, her big blue chest piece armor... You can see some detailing for her neck cover. Obviously, she's got the big asymmetrical look going on because she has a robot arm and a not robot arm. So that's neat that they've actually took the time to sculpt out everything. You can even see a little bit of weathering on her shoulder pad. And then the robot arm also looks pretty nice, though I don't know if I like that they've painted it silver instead of using like some kind of... Uh, silver colored plastic mostly because you can see on her joints uh, the, the the silver is peeling which is kind of bleh. and then going down she's got the typical spartan crotch piece fanny pack on her thighs um with master chief you'd be able to throw off the little uh inserted pieces of plastic and flip them around to make uh, little holsters for guns but on cat it looks like you can. Oh, look at that. Just pop it back in. There's no peg point or anything, so it kind of just has to friction sit. And then this piece uh, appears to be glued in. Yeah, I ain't gonna mess with that. And then she's just got these big old boots, a little bit of red coloring there. I think some dirt and mud detailing here would have been pretty nice to have. And then her face, just like every other Spartan, she's kind of got like this vacuum metal uh, color for her mask. Looks pretty nice. You can see my finger in the reflection. She's got a little uh, flashlight. Looks good. Honestly, one of my only real complaints with this figure, the detailing's nice, but she's not super stable. Uh, she kind of has problems standing up straight, and she's very, very floppy. 
Like, this is me holding her torso, and she just kind of goes. It's especially on her legs. And because of how thin her right arm is, can't really hold anything. It also just kind of feels a little flimsy. Since she's not chunky like the Spartan dudes, um, she kind of just comes off as being just a little flimsy. Now, articulation-wise, uh, it's going to be pretty similar to the rest of the Spartans. Ball-jointed head. She's got a ball joint on the torso. She's got a very minor swivel at the crotch. Swivel and a hinge with a butterfly. Ooh, it's a ratchet. For the shoulders. Swivel. Double-jointed elbows. With a hinge swivel for the hand on the other arm. It's the same setup, kind of. Swivel and a hinge. Single jointed elbow, but there's a swivel at that, and the hand's the same. Legs come out, there's a bit of a thigh cut. Double jointed legs, nice and crunchy. Swivel, and a hinge for the foot, and a toe bend. And then accessory wise, she's got a couple pair of hands. Here's a set of open hands. And she's also got a closed fist for the robot hand, and a pointing saluting hand for the human hand. And then, of course, her two uh, accessories that I was most interested in, in is a classic-style Halo Magnum. It's the Reach version, but hey, you know what? It's close enough, and it's a lot better than what Master Chief comes with. But who cares about that? Because she has a, a Spartan laser. And as we all know, the Spartan laser is the strongest weapon in all of Halo. So, uh, yeah, Spartan laser, 10 out of 10, best weapon. Now, the Spartan laser is nice and all, but I will point out that her hands do feel a little flimsy holding it. Um, this and the pistol don't really have any kind of nice grip on the hands. Um, the Spartan laser just kind of sits on her shoulder and just kind of flops about, and her grip hand doesn't even really hold it that well. Like, that just gets rid of it. And then the pistol, like... Um, at least in her, uh, robot hand. Just, just, uh, flops. While in her human trigger hand, um, it's a lot harder to get stuff in. Just because of how closed it is, and they didn't really make the fingers that malleable at Jazzwares. Like, you can get it like this, and it looks okay. But, in terms of the Spartan laser, um, eh. It is nice, though, that there is some weapon storage on her. One on her back, uh, kind of meant for the Spartan laser. Though, it doesn't really slot in or anything. Um, like, it doesn't really fit in. It just kind of sits on top. And then the pistol also more or less does the same. No real uh, nice grip to it. It doesn't even fit the Magnum. Oh boy. Cat is also the only character in this series to come with an alternate head. It's just her unmasked, very glossy. Um, almost reminds me of the uh, the girl from Stranger Things. Uh, Eleven, I think her name is. But you just pull off her head and kind of just fit it on. There's no real snap or anything. But there you go. I, uh, I'm definitely keeping the helmet on. So overall, that was the Jazzwares slash Wicked Cool Toys Halo the Spartan Collection. Uh, Cat from Halo Reach. She's okay. Um, she's definitely the weakest link of this entire series. I don't know if it's just my cat, but she's super flimsy. Um, can't really hold up anything. She can't hold her weapons, which just... <laughs> If she holds the Spartan laser, it kind of falls out, um, and her right hand can't even hold the Magnum, it just immediately will flop. Disappointing. I do think the sculpting on her is very nice. Hit it with, like, a dark paint wash, some weathering, and I think you have a very nice, uh, small-scale replica of her. Um, I think the robot arm could be a bit better. It just feels really loose feels flimsy, um, and I get that because it's obviously a smaller piece, it will be a little more delicate, but I think Jazzwares could have compromised that by just making her robot arm a bit bigger, a bit thicker. It wouldn't have been super game accurate, but I think it really would have helped the figure. 
The weapon storage is nice. Um, the fact that it only really, um, like, just kind of sits on the holsters kind of hurts because then the weapons just kind of fall off. Um, that's lame, but the guns are cool. I love the Spartan laser. I'll probably throw it on the, uh, other Spartan, just because I'm not really huge on the Halo 4 and 5, uh, the 343 styled weapons. And the alternate head is a nice feature. I, uh, honestly, I would have preferred an extra gun or something, just because the head's not really that amazing. It's kind of glossy. She kind of just has a 50 yard stare, but it's not bad. And overall, I think if you are looking to complete the collection, Cat's probably a good idea, but if you're just getting one figure, I would not recommend Cat. But if you're a fan of Halo Reach, you're probably going to want to get all of Noble Team anyway, because hopefully Jazzwares will end up making all of Noble Team. So we'll just have to see what happens with that. So anyway, uh, that's what I think. Who do you want to see next in the Spartan collection? I don't know if we're going to get any non-Spartan characters. Like, I want some some generic human soldiers. I want a Johnson. I want some ODSTs, Arbiter. And I don't know if they're going to do any of them. Um, Jazzwares, let me know. Toy Fair, well, what was going to be Toy Fair uh, got canceled. So maybe we'll hear something then. Who knows? Anyway, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Check me out on social media, and did you like the video? Well then rate, comment, subscribe, and like. Black Lives Matter, trans rights. I'll see you soon.